Hello and welcome to the World of Warcraft North American Online Qualifier Public Service Announcement video. My name is D-Machine and throughout this video I will be going over how to sign up for the Qualifier Cups on the Game Battles website, in-game settings you'll need turned on for screenshots, tournament gear and where to buy it, obtaining the battle tags to challenge opposing teams to a war game, how to war game cross server, the format and ruling for competition and map lock-ins, and how to report match results on the Game Battles website. So you want to join a tournament and you don't know where to begin? Head over to the World of Warcraft Game Battle site, link can be found in the description, and click on Tournaments. This is where you can find upcoming tournaments to sign up for. You and your entire team will need to register on the Game Battles website to be eligible to compete. When entering personal information, please make sure to fill out every field regardless of whether or not the fields are in bold. If you don't fill out all of the fields, you won't be able to enter or join a team for the World of Warcraft Qualifier Cups. After you have at least three players on your roster registered and eligible to compete, you'll need to make sure that your in-game settings are ready to go to take eligible screenshots. You're going to be taking screenshots of not just these game results, but also map and composition lock-ins in your chat box when communicating to opposing teams. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to Interface, Social, and click on the drop-down box for timestamps and make sure to click on the very last option. Alright, once you're done turning your timestamps on, head over to the chat box that's going to be present in every single screenshot, right click on the tab, go to background, and make sure the transparency dial is all the way down, as transparent as possible. Don't forget, tournament gear is required and can be purchased by Pixney Penny Pocket here in the Grand Arena, uh, right around the Ring of Trials. Here she is right here if you want to know what she looks like. And she sells all the tournament gear pieces your heart could desire for 50 gold a pop. Alright, as soon as you have purchased your tournament gear and equipped it all, as you can see, it will look like it's completely damaged and needing repair here in the top right of your screen. Now, this is a good thing because tournament gear can only be used in war games. Uh, make sure that you're equipping your tournament gear before every single match and a good way to do this is by just opening up your character screen and looking to make sure that everything is read out. If you don't equip every single piece of your tournament gear uh, and you know you play out some games, those games will not be replayed. This is up to you guys to make sure that you're equipping every single piece. Alright, everything is ready to go. You're eligible to compete. Your team has been seated into the bracket. Next, you'll need to get in contact with the first opposing team. You can either keep track of who you're facing using the bracket or even the match scheduling, which will be updated on your team page. Next, you're going to want to war game the opposing team. Now, to be able to do this, you need to add them on Battletag first. You can find their Battletag by going to their team page on the MLG website, scrolling down, and under roster, you'll be able to see all the battle tags listed. You want to make sure to delete the period in this scenario and replace it with a hashtag to be able to add them to your own battle tag friends list. Games will be played back to back until the final eight teams are decided. So be sure to check back on the bracket and on your team page to see which team you'll be facing next and the time your next match is scheduled. Alright, once each team is ready, you can then challenge the opposing team to a war game using this command in chat. Slash WG, the group, battle or the group leader battle tag, which in this case uh, is going to be clutter. Now when you're entering the battle tag in this command, make sure not to add the hashtag or any additional numbers. Just the battle tag nickname. Space. The map name, which on the very first map of every series needs to be in the Grand Arena. And then 5. That 5 represents tournament gear being enabled. And then once each team is uh, confirmed that they're ready to go, just go ahead and send out that command. And a war game request should be sent out. There's the queue. It's popped. Join the battle. And there you have it. So once you enter the war game, make sure that tournament rules are on. As you can see here, there is a buff, tournament rules active. Tournament rules are active for this match. Make sure, make sure, make sure that that is enabled. If that is not enabled, leave before the gates open. Once the game results have been posted, make sure to take screenshots of each and every game score screen. Uh, before you take a screenshot, make sure to add this information in your chat box. You need to add 
which team is facing which team. So in this case, it's admin team versus admin team two. Game number one of the series and the date, as you can see. So all of this information needs to be added in the screenshot. But not only that, it needs to be added in a chat box that's completely transparent. To be able to change the transparency of this chat box, go to background and ch bring the dial all the way down to the minus. Timestamps are also required to be turned on. You can find timestamps in social. After the very first game of every series on the Grand Arena, the losing team then gets the opportunity to lock in the next map choice. Following this map choice, the winning team then locks in a composition, then the losing team locks in their composition. So the losing team ideally will be able to lock in a composition of their choosing once they already know what the winning team is going to play. I highly recommend you take screenshots of these conversations of map lock-ins as well as composition lock-ins in the event of a dispute. Her team composition is Survival Hunter Affliction Warlock. So I'm just going to say Confirmed Survival Hunter Affliction Warlock. These confirmations are for your own benefit, guys, in the case of disputes, but and I'm going to go ahead and ask them, are they ready? They are ready, and then from here, we'll send out another war game request. So, the command is yet again, slash war game, clutter is the battle tag, then after that, the map choice has been blades, edge, and five to represent the tournament rules. Blades of Arena has popped, and we're going to go ahead and enter that yet again. This format needs to be followed not just for every game, but for every series. Both the winner and loser are required to report the results of the match. To report your match, click on the Report Score button on the Match Details page. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope I cleared some stuff up for you. I hope this made uh, it a little bit easier to understand how uh, this entire tournament's going to go down. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure to go ahead and ping one of your admins. Admin Toxic, Admin Elbereth, Admin Clutter, and Admin D Machine. We are here to help you and answer any of those questions and be there for you for the entire event. I look forward to seeing you guys compete, and I'll see you in the game.